Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Who is the Messiah and what will happen when he comes? We hear a lot of talk about the Messiah, the redemption, the messianic era, the promised land, the Garden of Eden. To understand this reality and this, this reality that's about to be revealed to us, this imminent arrival, I'll give you a little analogy to understand this idea better because it's connected to each and every one of you specifically. And it's uh, it's recommended to, to learn about this idea because it will truly affect you. It's going to affect you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen to you. And it's recommended that you get prepared for it. So to understand this idea, my friends, we have to understand that every project, whenever there's a specific project, whatever pro the, that project may be, there's an end goal, there's an end result that one is trying to obtain. Whether you're trying to build a building, you have the ultimate building, then you have, that's the ultimate goal that starts off, I want to build this building. Then you have the whole strategy and all the details and all the processes and stages. But nonetheless, there's that end goal that that's the ultimate result that you desire to obtain. Whether it's a business, a product you're trying to create, whether it's a marriage you're trying a match. Let's say you're trying to make a match for one's, your son. You want to find your son a wife. You're looking for a specific match for him and that's the, the goal you're, you're, you're seeking to obtain. Or whether you're trying to bring a cure to a certain illness, you're bringing a cure to this illness. It's a goal, a specific ultimate result that you are seeking. Therefore, my friends, this is just a little glimpse into the ways of the Almighty. The Almighty has a goal. God has a goal. And the world is His platform to reveal this goal and His tool to reveal this world, this goal too. And what is the Almighty's goal, my friends? This is very important because this is the ultimate, this will change your life. So it is recommended, it is suggested to take this into your hearts. I'm speaking to myself as well. I have to take this into my heart. I'm bringing you guys along for the ride. It's beautiful because it's a, this is one of those classes that are a general class, a general subject. I'm not inventing this. This is from all from the Zohar, from the Torah. The Almighty has a goal. And his goal, my friends, is to Nisavalo Kalj Baruch Dira Bisakhni. Hashem desires a home in this world. That is why he created the world. That is why he created all of reality. Because he desires a home in this world. He desires to feel comfortable to reveal himself in this world. And all those players involved in this world, meaning all the, the, the people that are alive in this world. Shall, they shall be meritorious, God willing, to experience God's revelation. That's his end goal. Period. Now, everything else that is happening in this world are stages and processes to get to this end result. The reason why I recommend you all to very listen to this very carefully is because you're a part of this. And this is your purpose of creation. It's my purpose of creation. It's my parents' purpose of creation. My friends' purpose of creation. It is your parents' purpose of creation. It is all of our purpose of creation. Purposes of creation. That we are the ones who give Hashem a home in this world. So we have an ultimate goal. God wants a home in this world. That's And what does that mean, a home in this world? He wants to reveal himself openly, fully reveal himself to those beings in this world. Now let's go a little bit into the details of this. This world is the lowest of all worlds. There's no world lower than this one. We are in the lowest realm. A realm that is so low that it is actually physical. All the higher realms are spiritual. And all the higher realms experience a revelation of God. This physical world is so low that it's physical. And in most cases, God is hidden. We can reveal God and we can all come to experience God. And we all have specific cases where we experience God. Yes, 100%. Thank God. But there are a lot of times where God is also hidden. In the higher realms, it's impossible. God is not hidden. 
So we have God's ultimate goal is to have a home in this world, and this world is the lowest world. What What's going on? The answer is the Torah. The Torah is the answer. To this. God gave us the Torah, and if you're not Jewish, it's seven Moznach. And through this uh, blueprint, through this formula, we reveal God in this world. And because this world is the lowest world, it is because that this world is the lowest of all worlds to the point where it's physical and we have free will, that it is because of that that God desires a home in this world. Because it is so, in the higher worlds, God already is, so to speak, at home. Why? To, to an extent. Because he's already, the, 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 the angels and, the, and then the souls that are in the higher realms and the world itself is surrendered to God. There's no ego there. There's no physicality. There's no desires outside of him. So it is all, they're all surrendered to God. It's in this low physical world where we have free will that sometimes people desire to go against God, God forbid, or there's um, selfishness in, in this world. This is the world where God desires to feel at home in. Because this is the world where we have free will and we can transform darkness into light. An angel serving God is beautiful, but they only serve God angels. Also a soul, our, our soul, that we all, each and every one of us have a soul. When our soul was above this world, when was, our, before we were born, our soul was above with God. And it was serving God, it was one with God. It's not so impressive to God. What's impressive to God is when we come down to this physical world and we do have free will, and we have the opportunity and desire to go against God, and we choose God. Now that's interesting to God. That's impressive. That's exciting to God. That is why God desires a home in this physical world, because this world is the darkest world. When you choose the light in the face of the darkness, now we're talking about something impressive. That is God's ultimate goal. He desires a, a battle. He wants to see us fight our evil inclination. We all have evil desires in us, God forbid. Not all of us. There's people who have reached level of tzaddik, of, of, of refining self, or they were born a certain way, like Moses and, and, and the Rebbeim and different uh, and, and the Arizal. There's many different people throughout our history that they are at a level that they're above evil. But the average person has evil desires, and God desires to see that average person. They're not average. They have a spark God in them, but... A person who has evil desires, when they go against their evil inclination and they serve God, that is the most pleasurable thing to God. It's the greatest pleasure to God. Imagine your greatest pleasure times infinite, times infinity. That's what God experiences, so to speak, when we choose good over evil. It's Hashem's greatest desire. He's, he's, he, he's, he loves it, so to speak. He adores it. Now, what does this have to do with the Messiah? The Messiah is the representation and the sign that we reach the purification of the world. The Messiah is going to come. And at that point, when the Messiah comes, the world is going to be transformed into a vessel for the revelation of God. That this lowest world, which was once the lowest world where we live right now, is going to turn into the greatest revelation. The revelation of God that's going to be experienced in this world is going, be, is going to become greater than even the highest heavenly realm, which is infinitely more pleasurable and a greater godly revelation than what we are experiencing right now. But when Mashiach comes, this world is going to reach an even infinitely greater level than that. And the Messiah is going to be a prophet like Moses who's going to teach each and every one of us to get to that level and he's going to facilitate it and going to bring out the prophet and the Moses within each and every one of us. God created the world in a way where the Torah is, God reveals himself to us through Torah. If he was to reveal himself directly to us right now, we would not be able to handle it and we would die, God forbid. And that's what happened at Mount Sinai when God spoke to us directly at Mount Sinai. Our souls left our body, we died and God revived us. So we asked that God spoke to us through Moses. So God would speak to Moses and Moses spoke to us. And through that, we can experience a godly revelation. But each and every one of us, according to our level. Why? Because God spoke to Moses and Moses took that, that the revelation. He revealed it to us according to our level. So too, in this generation, the Messiah is going to come. and He's going to be the Moses of our generation. And he's going to take us to a point where we're, we're also going to be ex able to experience God. Torah is taught from teacher to student. From God to teacher to student. So Moses is going to teach us to be the Moses of our situation. And that's going to be the Messiah. But when the Messiah comes, we're going to reach an even higher level than Mount Sinai. Why? Because at Mount Sinai, we died when we heard God speak. When Moses, when the Mashiach comes, we're going to be at such a refined, exalted level that we're going to be able to hear God speak to us. And we're not going to die, but we're going to be truly alive. 
So the Messiah is going to bring, the Messiah is God's ultimate desire for this world. We see darkness, but really the ultimate purpose is light. God, it says, Olam chesed yibane. God wants to build a world of kindness. This world is God's kindness to us. Yes, it's true we experience strictness and pain, but it's all part of the process. It's all really a revelation of His kindness. And when the Messiah comes, it's going to be truly revealed that God desires nothing else besides to give to us. He desires nothing else but, our, but the very best for us. He loves us infinitely more than we can ever love ourselves. The, all the, the pain was really, it's going to be transformed into pleasure. And it's going to be revealed. That's why I said when God, the, the Messiah was the first thing created. Even though it's the last thing that happens in, 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 in the world we know of. It was the first desire. It's like when you want to build a building, the first goal you have is the building. And then you get to all the details. So too, God's ultimate goal is the Messiah come. And then he got to all the details of the world, sin, good, evil, Messiah. So the Messiah will be the person who's going to bring good to this world in a fully revealed way. All the darkness is going to turn to light. There's going to be no more evil. There's going to be no more darkness. There's going to be no more suffering. I mean, no more jealousy. No more wars. But there's going to be a revelation of God. It says, <speaking in Hebrew> On this day you will know that God is, is, is the Lord. And, and you will see there's nothing else besides Him. It also says, you'll see that there's nothing else besides God. The whole world is going to experience an, a, 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 an understanding of God and a feeling of euphoric excitement in their hearts for Hashem, so to speak. These are all words that are limited, but the experience is going to be infinite. But to get a little glimpse, we're going to have a euphoric reality where we're going to experience God. We're going to know God. We're going to want to serve Him. We're going to want to follow His laws. We're going to want to teach our children about His laws. We're going to want to live our lives in dedication to Him. There's going to be no more poverty. There's going to be abundance. We're going to be focused on the Almighty and the Messiah is going to be our leader helping us get there. So may Hashem bless you all. I hope this message was 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 appreciated by you guys. And if you're Jewish, it's for following the Torah and its mitzvahs and kindness and giving charity. And if you're not Jewish, by following the seven laws of Noah. Let's do a little bit more today than we did yesterday and spread Hashem's presence to all those around us. Whoever you meet, Share with them the existence of God. You can help support the channel by donating to us. Any amount is infinitely appreciated. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. And let's bring the Messiah today. God bless you all.